What sort of kid were you? <laughs> well, a little one. <laughs> what sort of kid were you? No, were you a, a, a well-behaved kid, a shy kid? Or... Shy. Were you? You'd have been shy, yeah. Yeah, very, very, very shy. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we go into the theatre. Well, I went into the theatre. was, uh, you know, it was at school. And you'll find that the, the shortest, the smallest people usually turn out to be in comedy because uh, they have to survive. And I saw a picture out there of Woody Allen. I mean, Jesus Christ, how did he manage? I mean, look at the state of him. He's like, you know, he's like a lavatory brush as it is. <laughs> <laughs> With those glasses. I mean, the kids must have crucified him. And the only way that he survived, I betcha, was to uh, outwit them with being funny, being silly, doing all that sort of things. That's what you did. And that's what I did. And that's how the acting, the, bu the bug bit, I suppose, yeah. was it. What was, what was your, your first professional experience, your first professional engagement? Because you started, you had a job as an electrician. You had yeah. your own company, didn't you? Mm. You were engaged when you were 22. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. And those you, old heady days yeah, of engagement. And, and, and she got the flick because she wanted you to stop acting. Yes, in how do you know all this? He knows more than I do. Well, I doubt that. But, but mm. what, was the, what, was the first, what was the first time you stepped on stage and thought, oh, this is what I want? It was uh, when I was at school. And what happened, I was the school idiot, you know, the school clowns, I was saying, just to stop yourself getting beaten up, really. And all the staff knew it. And uh, w there was the end of term play, I remember, and um, the leading man had got the mumps like three or four days before it was to go on. So we were all in the class going, yeah, yeah, you got the mumps, let me do this. <laughs> and then the teacher said to me, uh, uh, White, the headmaster uh, wants you to take over the lead in this play. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm not doing that. It's sissy, isn't it? You know. You know, real boys don't do that, it's girly. So, all of us lads, it's girly, we wouldn't touch it. Anyway, the headmaster came to see me and he said, well, let me put it this way, don't have to make me ask you to do it. Oh, no, don't, don't ask me to make you to tell you to do it. Now, don't ask me to make you to tell you to do it. By the time the play finished, I still hadn't worked out what he meant. <laughs> but, I, but I did do it, and what it was... I did something, whatever it was, something silly, whatever. And the whole audience, it was invited audience of parents and things, laughed. I went en masse. Now, I often created a bit of a laugh for the lads who all used to laugh. But when you hear that massive laugh uh, from complete strangers, it was, and, it, and I've always, I've, it's never forgotten it, and it never it goes away. It's the biggest and best drug you can possibly have. It is... So rewarding. And once I heard that, I thought, God, this is, this is it. This is what it, it does. It's such a buzz.